Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Garage is here once again. Uh, today we're gonna show you how to uh, replace your light bulb on your uh, Chevy Tahoe. Say for a Chevy Silverado or Suburban, um, 2007 all the way to 2012, maybe even 14. But it's a simple process. If your light bulb is out, I'm gonna show you how to replace it. Also, you can check the link in the description for LED lights. If you're into LED lights, I have a really nice set. Uh, you can click on that website and look into their inventory. They have really nice uh, LED lights for interior lights, uh, rear, front, fog lights, everything, all the setup for LED lights. Just check them out. The good prices, very good reviews. Uh, just check those out. But let me show you how to replace this uh, light bulb. So here we go. Open your hood. All right, guys. So now that you open your hood, and it's, I'm going to do the left side, the passenger side, but it's the same for the driver's side. Um, as you can see, it's in there, right, our light bulb, but I can't change it because um, there's not a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take out this headlight. Um, so to start off, just use a size 10. It's two screws. It's two bolts. It's this one and this one. They're size 10. Um, this is the setup that I'm using. So just go ahead and remove those two. They're size 10, like I mentioned. And once you remove that, I'm going to tell you what to do so we can bring out the headlight and then get in there and reach for the for the light bulb so here we go okay guys so i took those two bolts out and once i did that um there's a clip here but you just pull out so just pull this out um i had a hard time because it was really tight on the sides i think it's just because of my car um maybe i think they messed with the bumper before but uh, i use a flat head and i kind of part at the bottom right here and then I, I i got it out to this much space which is all you need and then when you come in here I'm doing the low beam, which is the, the one on the left. Basically, this is the low beam right here, and then this is the high beam. So I'm doing this one, this is the one that's out. You come in here, and you see this. Uh, this is the, the what we're going to replace. Just go ahead and, and see, they, they, they messed with mine already. But just turn like this, and bring it out, and that's it. Okay guys, so now that it's out, um all you're gonna do is just uh, release it from the little clips right here this side mine is broken and then on this side so release that and you can pull this out and you can change the light bulb just like that um, very easy quick job um my issue uh it's actually not the light bulb it's the, the harnessing itself which is this cable and let me let me see if i can remove this real quick uh, let me see uh, okay so mine is actually all burned up but the light bulb still works and then in here as you can see it's really messed up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this and they sell you the harnessing or the casing which is this part you just have to cut the cables and, and just make the connection i'm going to put a link in the description for that part as well if you want to and if you just want to fix your light bulb that's it this is it the video um thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to see me how i replace this if you have this same issue which is actually common um just keep watching then check the link in the description for the part and, and i'll show you how the part looks and everything and i'm going to just cut this cable here put the new cable in and then connect the, the light bulb so let me show you that new part all right guys so to change the harnessing of the cable uh we're gonna need some electric tape the harnessing the casing which is this and we're gonna need some wire pliers and i'm gonna have a link in the description for all this if you want to buy it online if you want to just go to your auto shop uh nearby and just buy them and <coughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean up the cables which I'm just gonna cut a little piece of the plastic and reveal the copper in it on both of these cables. I'm gonna cut this one probably through the middle because it looks nasty over here. So I'm gonna use kind of like the clean side because my issue is up here. So I'm gonna clean, cut it through here. And again, I'm gonna clean the cable and then I'm gonna connect each side. Uh, this has, both cables are black. So it doesn't matter if you connect it to yellow or black, it will be the same. Once it's, uh, I'm gonna connect each individually and then I'm gonna tape them separately and I'm gonna tape them together. I'm gonna just um, not show you a video of that, I'm just gonna show you a quick slideshow of every single thing that I'm doing and uh, all the way to the end.
All right, guys, so that's it. I put everything back. I just saw the slideshow. Um, everything's back uh, together. Uh, I tried it out. It's good, perfect. I ended up using the little shaving blade more than the pliers itself just because it gave me a better uh, cut there. And um, and that's it. Just make sure you only cut around the, the plastic, not the copper. See, I think I got a little bit of the copper here, but it's still just a little bit. And that's it. Always try your work before putting everything back together. So I tried it, it's good. Now I'm gonna put it back here. Uh, it only goes one way in. As you can see, there's this, this three little points, corners, and then this one is wider. This one is wider than the other ones. So that one goes on the little opening. I think it's at the top. But you put it in there and then you turn. It stays in place. Put everything back and that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. If it helped, please subscribe. It's uh, not a common issue, but it can happen on any car uh, where you have to change the harnessing. And there's always, you know, people think you can buy them, but you can go to the stores or online and buy them. They're really cheap. I think it paid like uh, $12 for the casing, a little light bulb socket, and then, you know, the light bulb itself was like 10 bucks or so. So that's it, guys. You can do it yourself. Save yourself money. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.